Hey YouTubers, back again. Uh, had to bring an update on this uh, Dwarf Cavendish. Uh, I had it outside for a few days when it was really nice. But I brought it back in and it decided to pup again. And here's the oldest pup. But what happened is the main stalk is missing. My daughter decided to uh, play tug of war. And you can see that right there. That's where the main stalk used to be. Uh, she ripped it completely out, which is okay if it doesn't grow back. I guess it's going to pup really heavily, kind of like the rapid, rapid multiplication. Uh, but oh well, it is what it is. Got a little burnt right there from the sun. But other than that, they look pretty, pretty healthy, pretty good. gonna show you this one this one seems to uh, have the pups are a little bit bigger like lengthwise and that one pup twice as well uh, this is the fourth set of pups I've gotten off of this plant already uh, this one's doing pretty well as pretty good as well looks pretty pristine uh, the tips a little bit up my cat likes eating them unfortunately but oh well uh, this one did get scorched as well outside I wasn't trying to leave it directly in the Sun I forgot and left and it got a little scorched and here's the pineapple I don't even think I can get this all the way in the whole scene the stalk on this thing is getting huge Let's see if I can get a good shot it's starting to really fatten up uh, the leaf length is about four and a half, five foot now. Leaves are getting really, really big. Oh, we got a lot of snow too. We got about 12 inches here in St. Louis, by the way, if no one knew. The roads are pretty good now, but it was hectic then. It's starting to, uh, the lemon tree starting to bark up pretty well now. All the branches are starting to bark up as well, which I guess that's a good thing. Never grew a lemon tree before, but it goes all the way up, almost to the ceiling. And it's on a table, so it's only like four and a half, five foot. Yeah, I'll show you. That's where it sits. take you in here real quick show you the majesty palm that I have in my daughter's room uh, this is another little palm tree I've got from Lowe's for like 20 bucks not too bad but the leaves are opening real nicely uh, they take a lot of water ton of water I water it almost every other day but it has, it's gotten a lot bigger since I bought it. I was able to fit this thing in my back seat. Now I can't. They say they get about 20 to 30 foot tall. Not quite sure. Never grew one before. But so far, so good. Has extra little shoots down here. Typically, you don't pull them pups off because they will die. It's not like a banana. You just cannot remove the pups off them. I know people who have and said they've uh, had success with them I removed one and it had a nice root system on it but it did not live so it might have just been what I was doing not being knowledgeable in that field with the palms who knows I guess I could take you guys back in there and show you one more look Hopefully this pineapple uh, flowers this summer. It's kind of getting big and in the way. I don't really have anywhere to put it, which kind of sucks, but oh well. I mean, the leaf length is just unbelievable on this thing. Sorry for taking so long on a video. I've been really busy lately, and it's been really hectic. 
There's a few pups right there. The thing about uh, detaching some pups, especially if this one pups up pretty heavily, uh, detaching them, selling them, uh, if anybody's interested. I mean, they're pretty pristine plants. If you take care of them right, they will grow pretty fast. Can't wait for these to produce. They don't make some banana brandy out of them. Who knows though? Might just give them away to family. That's a little update on uh, the orange and lemon, or the lemon, I should say, the pineapple and the two bananas. I will be going downstairs shortly to make another grow box video update and just a regular banana update have that to you guys shortly. Alright, see ya. YouTubers, bringing you a grow room, well, a grow box update. Uh, this is the Fresno pepper. Definitely has gotten a lot bigger. It has about seven, eight peppers on it. Uh, this is the avocado tree. Grew from seed. Germinated myself, and so far so good nice big leaves nice sturdy stalk just all around sturdy plant uh, I got the peach tree clipping right there so far so good uh, finally put it in dirt and doing good all right I got a couple issues uh, normally I put my tomatoes in solo cups red solo cups well I decided to buy these things unfortunately they suck I hate them they dry out too fast and they're horrible I don't ever recommend the cardboard cups you can just plant they're horrible uh, my marugas are doing great show you a maruga right here it's a maruga there Trinidad scorpion and another maruga they're all doing good tomatoes look like they're a little suffering cuz these things dry out so fast, I just can't be here all day to water them. Uh, they'll be fine, though. They'll perk right back up like that one. Uh, it isn't the first time. Uh, here's the cucumber. I'm not really trying to uh, do anything with it. It's just really putting out flowers and a stem. It quit putting out leaves. Uh, but anyway. Uh, that's it for that grow box. It's a light system right there. Here's a couple more peppers. Uh, this one is about an inch tall. Well, and more than an inch, about six inches tall. And it's already flowering, so. And I do got something interesting you guys might want to see. In a 50 degree basement, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't. I have a habanero pepper. It's by a very cold window. It's interesting. Here's the ghost pepper from last year. It's starting to flower as well. If we can get a shot. It won't focus. Oh well. Right there. Yeah, there you go. Starting to uh, flower. In a cold basement. I don't understand it. I thought they loved hot weather. But I guess they can flower in cold basements. There's another pineapple. There's a bigger pineapple, about two foot length, and a third pineapple. You tell I like pineapples, huh? Uh, the dwarf caven dish started to put out leaves again. Uh, this leaf was ate up. That was the one I thought that was a half leaf, but yeah, I guess it got jam, leaf jam. Uh, so far, so good with that. I actually started growing again as well, the main stalk. Then you have this big old thing right here. It's actually have a third leaf popping out here shortly. I see the when I look down the stalk. And here's my other baju right there. Doing pretty good. It's putting out another leaf as well. Uh, can't complain. I did get a new pot for my uh, whisk my whiskey. Uh, the 
pressure cooker really didn't hold up as well as I thought. So I went and got a stainless steel pot with a mixing bowl. See if I can get a good shot of this. Let's do that. This house pretty much gonna be placed just like that. It's gonna be a stainless steel uh, cook pot with a mixing bowl and I have a rubber seal from the pressure cooker around the bowl to seal it. And that's pretty much it for that. And I'm thinking about doing another little still with that since it's extra. But I guess that's, there you guys go. It's pretty much the whole update. Show you another shot of the bananas. Pretty big leaves on them. I can't wait for this snow to melt so I could put everything outside shortly. There you guys go. I'll see you guys later. See ya.